In today's video, I'm going to teach you all how to use a quick selection tool called alpha locking. What is alpha locking? Alpha locking is a setting that allows you to lock transparent pixels on a layer, only letting you paint on the already visible pixels. I know that may sound like a lot, so I'm going to show you guys what alpha locking is. So you can alpha lock in two different ways. So the first thing you want to do is click the layer, slide to your right, and it'll give you this checker pattern in the back that indicates that your image is alpha locked. The second way is if you were to click and then this display menu comes up, you notice it says alpha lock on the side. If you would click that, it's now turned off, go back, click it, and now it's on. So there's two ways, sliding to the right with two fingers or clicking the layer and the check comes up, then you know it's alpha locked. As we can see, this image of Gengar is visible. So if we were to click this uh, layer drop, we notice that the layer is selected and it is alpha locked. So how we can test if it's truly alpha locked, we would then go to our brush tool. Then we want to go to airbrush. We want to grab something with a good radius. So I take my airbrush and I bring it all the way to the top. And let's change this from black. Let's go to like a, a, a medium purple, dark purple, I guess. And we're going to go across the screen. And as you can tell, the Gengar image is no longer black, it is now purple. By me coloring through that, tells me that it is alpha locked and I can tell by the way it looks. Um, you can't see on the screen, for a lighter color to a lighter purple. And now you should definitely be able to tell that that image has changed and it's no longer um, black. Alpha locking is not only great for changing the color of an outline, but it's also great at changing the complete color of an image. So what we're gonna do just to test that and give an example, I'm going to completely fill this image with a lighter purple, lighter purple right here. Go ahead and drag that in. And now we're gonna go to our color that we just filled in. We're going to click alpha lock it and say I wanna add some shadow to this. So I'm gonna just go like a little dark purple right here. Uh, I'm gonna go to our ink brush and go to our studio pen. And I'm going to just start creating some shadows. Now, just to test to see if this is actually working, I'm gonna do the same gesture outside of the color and see there's no image, there's no color showing up because it's only affecting the image that is currently alpha locked, which happens to be the, the color within the image or color within the drawing or the outline. So alpha locking is good um, with containing colors, especially if you have a full, full colored image. Um, if I were to turn the alpha lock off, this will happen. So no, it's no longer alpha locked, doing this, and now you see that color is bleeding out. So we wanna do, if we wanna do it this way, and there's so many other ways you can add shading um, to an image uh, or to a color fill outside of alpha locking. Um, I'm gonna have some more videos explaining better methods, but just for the sake of this video, this is kind of an example I wanna show. So just a side note, um, when this is alpha lock, you can no longer drag color into the image unless you turn the alpha lock on. For example, I wanna take this yellow and drag it to the middle here. It will not let me do it because it is alpha locked. But once I turn it off, I am able to freely drag that color in there. So when you're dragging colors into your image and you're using alpha locking, make sure you turn it off if you wanna to continue to drag those colors in. If not, it won't show up.
this is a quick tutorial on how we can use alpha locking. Um, as you can see, all of my shadows and my highlights are contained in this one purple section. Um, I was able to show you guys the effects of alpha, lock, alpha locking when it's turned on and when it's turned off. Um, so give it a try whenever you get a chance. As a reminder, make sure you turn your alpha lock off. So whenever you wanna drag colors into your image, you can properly do so. If it's on, it won't work. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, I suggest you do that because I'll be doing a lot more tutorials based on this, really quick and simple ones, and then we'll get more into the complex stuff going into next year and even at the end of this year. Thank you again for watching. If you stay to the end and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.